those head coaches say to you that? Well, they were, uh, you know, they were, they were uh, pleased with the, the improvements, and they thought, you know, everything that was said to me was positive. Uh, so I don't know what they're saying behind closed doors, but what they said to me was pretty positive. So that's how I'll take it. Tim, you, sh you shook hands with Todd McShay. Has there been a, a, a detente there? <laughs> I just try to treat everyone like I want to be treated, and. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely not. You know, there's the, the question of why wouldn't you wait till you get drafted to start working on some of the things you need to work on. And uh, for me, you know, I'm not going to, if I know I'm going to do something, I'm not going to wait to change it. I'm not, you know, uh, would be scared of coming out and not being perfect or something. So I was going to make the changes and work on it. And I, I felt like I did that. And I think just the, the trying to be coachable and the coachability factor of just work on what I feel I need to work on and not being stubborn and saying, you know, my way is the best way and just trying to understand it. It's something that I wanted to show too is that, I, you know, I'm be very coachable and listen and how you coach me. That's what I'm going to do. And that's what I did at Florida. And what I'm going to continue to do is how you coach me, I'll be able to learn that and ingrain that into my system and the muscle memory will become natural for me. Wow. Well, the, I think the few base things um, that uh, to un understood was in my my footwork when I'm stepping to throw the ball, a shorter step, you know, so I'm not getting such a wide base. And then uh, the other thing would be holding the ball a little, a little bit higher um, and then not taking it down and around um, in like a windmill sort of motion. It's just taking it out and then going right from here and throwing the ball. And so that's just, you know, quickening it. And so I just did dr drills um, that were going to make it quicker and that were going to emphasize those things over and over and over and over and over and over again. And then there are people who think that, that, that you may go back and revert to the old style under pressure. Well, I think when you do something so many times, it because it becomes muscle memory. And when you, you can train yourself to do it under pressure, um, you know, obviously it's not going to be exact, you know, uh, similarities of a game, but you can do it where you're under pressure, where you're having people run at you, where you're having to make quick decisions, you're having to, you know, process information and still have those same fundamentals. And we've worked on that thousands and thousands of times. Uh, per week and so those things are becoming muscle memory where it doesn't even come into my mind it's not even something I think about and so I think that's a great thing about work ethic is when you want to change something if you work on it enough it'll change. And with all this is going on who's giving you the best advice that you've had through all the criticisms and you go through this transformation? Well it's hard to say who's giving me the best of advice because there's been so many people that have invested in me, invested in my life for my whole life, especially the last few months. I mean it goes all the way back from my families, my brothers, my sisters, my mom, my dad, to the quarterback coaches I've worked with from you know Coach Marizoni to Coach Sheik to Coach Tressman to Coach Weiss to you know my agents and um, you know and Jim Denton and just the people that have been around me have been helping me and the people that were at D1 with Will Bartholomew and Kurt Hester and just everybody that's been even coaches that I met with, you know, uh, at the combine and different things have, have really just, you know, either believed in me and, and invested in me and tried to give me encouragement and that's just, it means the world to me. I have a question about muscle memory. Mm -hmm. You've always been an instinctive football player ever since you were high school about that. How do you blend the two? I mean, you don't want paralysis by analysis, but you said, how much your instincts will guide you and how much do you actually well, in a, in a game when you're um, when you're just playing and you're making throws, and I flip the ball underhand or you know toss it my right hand or shovel it, that stuff's still going to happen. But you know when you're in the pocket and you're making decisions you're, and you're throwing the ball, you can change that because that's just a, that's how you practice all week. That's how you practice that season. That's what you're going to do because you. You do it so many times, not not where you have to think about it, but where you, you can't think about it, where you're making decisions and you're processing other information, so you're not even thinking about your motion. So you practice it so much that when you don't even think about it, it, it becomes natural and it becomes it comes instinctive for you to do. Do you feel the start of your draft status today? Um, you know, I don't know. That's something I haven't really thought to process. I'm just trying to get better every day. and. Um, and that's my constant focus was to come out here and show that I've gotten better at a lot of things I felt like I needed to work at and a lot of other people felt like I needed to work at and I wanted to prove that I've gotten better at things. So 
That's all I've really been thinking about. What's that? I think it's continuing the, the changes that I made and, uh, and make as big of a, di a jump from uh, the senior bowl to now, uh, from now to the draft. And, um, and, you know, that's just, that's my goal is to continue getting better every day. Yeah, when you started this process, you said that nobody told you to quicken your release or shorten it or take the loop out. Who told you those things and, and did you have to be sold on changing your mechanics and doing all the things? Well, I mean, I always knew I could get a quicker release and, and do things, but I don't necessarily know that it was ever the right time after championships and everything like that to really try and do that. And I don't know that, it, I don't know that it was really the... The, the goal, I think the goal is just to can try to complete passes and win games and score touchdowns and that's something that we worked on doing and now the goal is trying to improve me in a, in a different way with my fundamentals and um, and you know I just felt um, just with the people I was around that I could make these changes and make them quick and uh, improve as a player.